Why could websites soon stop making you prove you're not a robot? Anyone who's navigated the internet has run into these robot tests. They're called CAPTCHAs, and they can come in a couple different forms. You can be asked to pick all the boxes that include a traffic light, decipher scrambled and mutated looking text, or simply click a box that says, I am not a robot. These tests aren't just judging your amazing ability to identify a traffic light, they're also monitoring how you navigate the page because a human will scroll through a page much differently than a bot. Here's the problem. AI and machine learning are giving bots the ability to behave more like humans, allowing them to beat a CAPTCHA. Humans have also developed CAPTCHA solving farms, staffed with workers overseas that spend all day solving these puzzles for bots. There's another problem as well. Some humans get so annoyed by these robot tests, they abandon their purchases altogether, with some reports putting that number at 19%. Newer approaches are giving up on challenging humans and now challenge our computers. According to the Washington Post, sites can look for clues on your computer and browser to see if they're being controlled by a human. So instead of looking at your behavior on a single CAPTCHA page, it will look at how you behaved across the entire website. While this means you'll see fewer traffic light challenges on the big websites, experts warn smaller companies will take longer to make the switch. With The Why, I'm Brandi Smith.